All right, so one thing that I wanted to do before we actually got into Lesson 3 Exploitation is showing you around the Burp Suite uh, sitemap as well as using the uh, Burp Suite Spider. So I'm going to go ahead and move over to my Linux machine and I'll show you that. Okay, so I've switched on back over to my Linux machine and I've clicked on the Target tab in Burp Suite and I've gone over to the sitemap tab within that. So what you see is because I was using the DVWA just before this, um, you see a list of the targets that, that Burp Suite has picked up on as I've been browsing. So keep in mind, what I've done is I've set up my browser to run traffic through Burp Suite. So now Burp Suite is sort of automatically mapping out a website for me and presenting it to me in a very intuitive view. So first thing that you see is just localhost. So I've only visited uh, websites that are in my local host right now. So that's why you see this tab. If I were to double click on that, as I just did, uh, you can see that here's the web route. So it shows me the request that I got to as soon as I landed on, in the DVWA, as soon as I put localhost into my uh, web browser and pressed enter, this is the request, that, this is the HTTP request that was sent out. And I'm able to see that raw again. So I can actually expand this a little bit and you can see the raw HTTP request over here. And again, I can see the response. I can go ahead and view just the headers if I want to, if, if I'm just interested in the headers right now, and some other ways of sort of viewing this. So very, very useful. Uh, it just shows me, it keeps track of all the raw requests and responses that have, that, that have gone on. And we'll see, we'll, we'll get a pretty good amount of utility uh, um, from this functionality throughout the exercises. Next thing I see is that it's sort of mapped out the application even more. So this it's showing me that about.php is in the application, index.php, instructions.php, login.php, anything with a little arrow next to it can be expanded. And it sort of just organizes everything for me. Uh, this vulnerabilities folder uh, is, extremely, is extremely useful here. I can see that it has a lot of, of links in it. So this is just a really simple way to view an application. It, it's essentially just organizing it into folders and files for me just like you would with any any application explorer on your operating system so very very useful very powerful last thing I wanted to show you about this is if I go ahead and right click on actually any of these folders really or on the very or on the root right here I can click on spider this host so when we were talking about uh, discovering content on an application as well as sort of going through manually and clicking absolutely everything and trying to understand everything if I want to save a little bit of time or make sure that I didn't miss anything I can always just spider it so I can go to spider this host over here or I can spider this branch which means uh, stick to just these specific branches um, and I'm gonna go ahead and just spider this host over here from the very top and it actually automatically picks up form submissions. I can submit anything that I want. I'm going to go ahead and just submit a uh, blank username and keep submitting forms. It'll keep asking you as it finds forms. And you see that slowly, or rather quickly actually, uh, the sitemap grows. It, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the spider off for a second because it keeps prompting me for forms, which is getting annoying. Um, and I see that this has actually grown a pretty good amount, right? So it's discovered a ton of new links for me. And these are actually great, great attack surfaces um, for when I'm attacking an application. All right, so now we've got a lot of the introductory stuff done. We're actually going to get into a lot of the fun stuff. So this is lesson three, and this is exploitation.